What's good, everybody? So, I made a bad decision of actually doing a story time on a very loud game, and I won't make that same mistake again. So, I'm gonna do this from the top of my memory, not from like a script or anything, just what, what I remember. And I'm gonna be doing Honkai Star Wars because I can actually think as well as play the game. Uh, I think I'm gonna start with like the times I was like... Maybe I'll do high school here and talk about middle school a little bit later. I don't want to talk about the entire T because I have some people that actually wants me to talk about this in another time. But yeah, so basically what happened in high school... I was treated as a puppet or a robot in a lot of my grades. I was treated as I wasn't really human. So that, that was like the beginning of it. And so... You chose the wrong enemy. When I started to develop my own emotions, I was kind of just told not. They're not real or whatever like, like that. Can I have fun this time? And so... I'm just gonna give you the context here. I was very depressed. I thought I was the most hated person. I thought I was unlikable. I thought I was unhateable type stuff. And then I started getting... These, like... Mixed signals from other people as well. I actually liked a girl in high school, and More enemies. I was shitty, like, that was the worst thing I could ever do, which was weird. No dirty I'm gonna let that all play for a bit. So, my question is, why in the world am I seen as a bad guy for having emotions? I was, I was like, I was, you know, I, or maybe I'll take it off. I'm an introvert, which is pretty obvious. I weep for the depart. I was really shy around my crushes, which is kind of normal. Um, I still am to this day, but I don't have any crushes anymore. I could worry about myself more than the actual other people. But um, it's on me. I like this girl, and. In high school, not now. I like this girl, and I thought she was good, right? I didn't hear a full story that she didn't really like guys like me, of, I think. Even though I told her I don't really want to push you to do anything you don't like, right? You're human, you deserve to feel how you want to feel, too. But she turned around behind my back. And lying to most of the people of the reason why she dropped me. And her reasoning being is that I was too I was too nice. And so that's one of the reasons why I was like, so do people just like evil people? Do these girls just like bad guys? Even though I've heard everywhere in my friend group that girls like, you know, the actual nice people. And this has been proving my point. Because in middle school, there's a girl that liked me, I like there, got dropped off in the most weirdest way possible. And now she was sitting things over me in senior year. Even though I told her, where is this coming from when... You, you basically just did a 180 on me. And then I just started see, noticing that she is just doing it for a bit. Just for, uh, just for fun to see if I'm actually so interested in her. I told her, hell no, because she lost my trust anyways. Back to where we were. I believe sophomore year is when I started feeling like crap because... I didn't really have friends in sophomore year, like early sophomore year. I had fake friends that used me every time I w wanted to, you know, ask how their family is because they had a very hard time. They didn't really notice me at all. So when I started to dive away, they started being like, wow, you're fake. I'm like, 
I'm fake for noticing that I'm being used. And this is when I get me unconscious too. Like, why in the world would I be fake for wanting what I, you know, wanting to be who I am as a person? Time for a fun. <laughs> and then this they started hurting. They started saying personal things, which that drove me deeper than I already was. But at this time, it's helping me here. I was already suicidal and stuff. They, they just kept making fun of everything I did. And I'm like, did I do that to you? No. But people just think it's funny. I don't at all. But, um. What made me dive deeper into depression made me want to. made me want to end it all. Was the fact that the dead return. when I like me. someone so so much, it just feels like it won't be reciprocated. I feel like I'm gonna be hurt in the end. Watch your head. And to top it all up, I didn't have a personality. I was a robot. I was a puppet, a slave. I was very. I wanted to belong rather than be myself. I was a people pleaser as well, so that wasn't really easy to be or do if, when you were wanting to be yourself as well. But, um, I started talking to um, my best friend at the time, the person I can actually trust, and wanted her take on it. She said, I don't know why people would do this to you, and she was helping me get through my depression as well. To start saying things that weren't true. Considering I heard it all day in my life that I was useless, I was nothing, I was gonna do nothing for anyone. Um, and then people wondering why I stopped talking to them. Because of, why would you tell me I'm not really useful to you and I want you still want me around? You you must have thought I was gullible. I was very gullible. I thought everyone hated me. And to this day, I still think so too. Because when I was talking to one of my coaches, they said, Why do you let people abuse you? I didn't think I was being used at the time. And he kind of just felt sorry for me after he heard what I heard, like what I said. I thought I was just. I thought I was being just friends being friends, but no, I was being misused. And so, the lies and facade I went through in my entire high school life was so god-awful, bro. Like, I tried so hard to um, get them to like me, but you can't make someone like you when, they already, when you already have a bad reputation. And... Bust. I lost or maybe I'll take it off. a lot of people in high school as well. I lost a lot of my friends and I was I on my own. And then I started gaining a persona, if you would, a lone wolf. And I started just staying rocking myself. And of course, I would get heartbroken every now and then. Because I don't work. <laughs> I didn't, I thought I have a chance and stuff, but no, I didn't. Anyways. Um, this is gonna be the near the end, so I'm gonna say this. You may, and this is for the people that are also in the same but you may like someone. Make sure you do a background check on them before you have feelings for them and actually think about starting to ask them out. Because if they, if they treat you like crap and are ignoring you, they don't like you, man. I, I, I know that you guys might think that, but they don't. They will use that, my good people. They will use that for their own gain. So that's my, story. that's my lesson to you guys. You may love someone, but they won't love you back until they, you, they actually know how good you are in a certain situation. But I try to tell myself this. My, well, my best friend tried to tell me this, but I kind of didn't believe him because I was in a very bad state of mind with what I've been dealing with at home and other stuff. And so, 
Wait, I do have a pull, right? Yeah, I do. And so when I started being more quiet, people started to think that I've lost my ways or something like that. I'm like, no, I didn't lose anything. I just lost my trust in people, that's all. And don't let anyone think you're weak or anything like that. But anyways, actually, I'm going to do a little bit of a follow-up here. So, um, I might do lessons with you guys and see if you guys want that, like, my life, my, like, stories into life lessons and see if you guys would like that. I don't know if you guys would, but it's a little too loud now, so I can't really give you guys too many story times, but I can start editing other stuff. I hope you guys do have a blessed day and hope you guys are doing well. I, for one, I know that some people are worried that I haven't been out much because I've been working hardcore and haven't really been gaming. Sorry for my family, but, um, yeah, it's been a little rough recently, so uh, I'm, I'm okay. I'm mentally okay. It's just physically I've been tired and I can't really get up like I like after work and be like, yeah, I want to stream, and especially with the games I don't play anymore. I don't play, really play threes like I used to. Again, sorry for my family. One second. All right, sorry about that, but um, <sighs> uh, adventuring is so cool. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's it's been really hard for me to get back up again after work, considering I have to start walking to the gym and then uh, or walk to the grocery store. I just don't have energy left for it, considering I've been working my butt off at work while other people don't. But I'll get to that story probably next video, if you guys want to see that talk about how work's going talking about like the hardships of my work instead of like the entire thing about it but yeah i hope you guys enjoy yourself and i'll see you guys in the next story time peace